exciting around here because ABC4 Utah is on the road again. This time we're exploring Yellowstone Teton territory and the plethora of fun, exciting winter activities for you and your family. Really just a few hours up the road. And we know what you're thinking. This means I have to be cold, but that's not the case. In fact, our first stop is indoors at the Museum of Idaho, where trappers and traders originally trekked through the region. And good for Utah's Alana Brophy shows us the modern day explorer will love it too. Idaho Falls kicks off your Yellowstone Teton adventure, and when you pump the brakes at the Museum of Idaho, you get a glimpse back in history to the 1890s. And the town's history, well, it may surprise you. Here's something you don't see every day, a hand-spun American flag with battle blood dating back to the Revolutionary War. Or how about evidence of early graffiti left behind by the first explorers in the 1800s? See B. Jackson? He went on to found Jackson Hole. And it really can not just speak to our community, but it really speaks to all the people who are traveling through to give them a sense of place and a sense of where they're going. Whether it's a mainstay or a traveling exhibit, the Museum of Idaho takes you through the past and allows you to see how it relates to our future. It's been a great place for my family to come with our children, and they, off, they also offer educational events for families. Some of them are free, and so it's, it's one of our favorite places to go. With over 25,000 artifacts and the stacks of collections rotating on display, you can count on always seeing something different. The museum is housed in a 100-year-old Carnegie Library. The permanent Eagle Rock exhibit shows the storefronts from the 1890s. Bridge construction over the Snake River aided miners and eventually brought the railroad through the area. But the museum curator says the tracks, though, can bring some sordid people. A lot of brothels that were here, and we started with a huge opium trade. When you come through Idaho Falls now, you see a very clean-cut, respectable town, but we weren't always that way. We kind of started with this past that was, you know, very much part of the Wild West. From clothing and cameras to firearms and front pages, the history of the Yellowstone area is rich, so there's something everyone can enjoy. We think this is a very vibrant and exciting, wonderful place where you can really learn about this area, and we think it's a worthwhile stop. So there's an abundance of history, a lot of culture to see, and plenty for the kids to get involved in. Hey, up here, for museum rates, head to our website, goodforutah.com. Reporting in Idaho Falls, Alana Brophy, Good for Utah.